Hey there, so in this tutorial I wanted to respond to an actual tech support question we received just recently. So I'll just read the question. Our customer is asking us, how can we create a report template where dimensions out of tolerance are shown in bold? So the reason he's asking this is because he doesn't print in color, he prints in black and white. So normally what PCDMIS does is it will turn the out of tolerance dimensions the color red. So you can see here in this report it's quite easy to see if you have a color printer. If you don't have a color printer everything shows up in black and white. So let me open the black and white printout and I'll show you what I mean. Okay so here's my black and white printout. So you can see there's very little distinction between what's in tolerance and what's out of tolerance. You can read the, uh, the values, but what our customer wanted was just a quick way to visually see what's out of tolerance. So let me open up uh, the modified template I created that will show the out of tolerance in bold and slightly larger. Okay, so let me just open that up. Okay, so there's my modified template. So you can see I've only modified one cell in this report template. It's actually a label template and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So the, the font is slightly bigger and it's in a bold color. So you can see right away, even though we don't have a color printout, that that is out of tolerance. Okay, I'll show you how I did it. So what we need to do is edit what's called a label template. If we mouse over our report, you can see the name of it, legacydimension.lbl. So let's open that for editing. So that's found under File. Reporting, Edit, and Label Templates. So let's give that a click. And we'll search for our legacy dimension.lbl. And you can see to the left there, I've made a copy of it just in case I mess up and I need to resort back to the original. So let's give this a click. And there we go. So there's our template. So you can see there's multiple cells there. Axis, nominal, tolerance, and so forth. So to keep it simple, I will only modify the out of tolerance cell. So let's give that a click right there. There it is there. So we'll give it a right click. And you can see here in the cell expression box is the formula. So it's a little complicated, but I'll keep it simple. What we need to do is add the letter F here, capital F. So it's equals TOL with the added F, which allows us to add some formatting. So what we'll do is add a comma at the very end after that zero, double quotes. And here is where we type our optional formatting. So this formatting can include four different items. Font size, uh, style, as in bold, italic, uh, so forth, and color. So what I want to do is just add um, three items. So we're going to skip color because in this example we're printing in black and white. So the color change won't even uh, be noticed. So my font is first. I'll use Arial. The size will be 12, so it'll be slightly bigger than the default. And the third item is the, uh, the format, which is bold. So we'll go ahead and type this. Arial, we need to put a colon. And next is size, which I'll do 12. Another colon. And then capital B for bold. So we need to finish with quotations. And that's it. So let's click apply and OK and we'll see if that worked. There we go. So that's what it will look like. So it's shown in red here but in our printout it'll be black and white but it'll be large and bold so immediately noticeable. OK so let's apply our changes here by saving. So we're saving the template, the label template. And then we can just toggle back to the report window from the window button in the menu report window and we need to refresh with the paintbrush and there's our changes 
So again, here we see it in red, but in the black and white printout, it'll be immediately distinguishable from the intolerance uh, results. So this only applies if it's out of tolerance. So you notice when out of tolerance is zero, it's still that smaller font and uh, it's not bold, it's just the regular font. So that's a really quick uh, tutorial on something that can be complicated. Uh, but this is just one of the services we provide in our tech support department. Uh, what we sometimes do is just modify the template ourselves, and then just uh, email that template to the customer and tell them what folder to put it in. So we save them a lot of work. So this is actually a, a relatively new enhancement introduced in PCDMS 2014.1. So if you're not up to date with your software, uh, unfortunately you won't be able to use this. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.